Okay, okay, I'm back, I'm back. Once again, I'm back in the house. Oh yes, people, thank you very much for coming back. And um, thanks for watching my last video. This video is about putting on click listeners, putting event handlers on top of your list. If you do not know what the hell I'm talking about, go to my last tutorial and it's about creating lists on Android. Okay, this time I'm going to um, extend the functionality of the last app. At the moment, it's a list like this, as you can see in the emulator. If I click on something, uh, nothing happens. Absolutely nothing happens. Um, just going back, you can see I populated the list like so. And you've got a list view, an adapter and so forth. As I said, go to my last video to see how I did that. I'm just going to push forward because I don't want to keep going over the same thing. Okay, so now what we want to do to add some sort of event handling is we want to implement on item click listener that's what we want and when we implement we want to import the method um the import on item click so let's say okay and we have to override this because this is part of the interface class okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to change the layout a little bit. That's what we're going to do. So let's go to the layout. And at the moment, as you can see, it's just it's just a list view. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add a linear layout like so. I'm going to drag it over here like so. And then I'm going to put this list view inside the linear layout. I might do, in fact, I will do another video based on layouts another time. So I'm going to put the list inside the linear layout and then I am going to tell the list, the linear layout, I'm going to tell it to wrap its content and then I'm going to give the list itself a height. Like I'm gonna say, say you're 300 maybe density pixels. So this is the size of the list within the linear layout. So now I'm going to drop another widget, which is a text view underneath, inside the linear layout, under here like so. You can see it just came there. Okay, now I'm going to change the text size. I'm gonna make it like 30 so you can see it. And then I'm going to give it a margin at the top. So let's go to view more properties. And then I'm going to say, where's the margin here? layout margin and margin from top now let's just give it a few density pixels let's say 70 density pixels so as you can see it comes down here which is fine let me just run that again to make sure that it looks okay okay so as you can see this is the emulator still so we have the list and we have the text view. So now let's get to work, let's get to work. Okay, let's go back to the Java code. Okay, now what we wanna do is we want to put a text view here. So let's go my text view. Now what I wanna do is to the list view, I want to add another listener. So I'm going to say list view dot set on item click listener this is in this view and when someone clicks on the item in the list it's going to call this method okay so when someone clicks on it I'm going to say my text view dot set text clicked whoops that's it if the mouse clicks any item within the list this method will be called and it will set the text to click. Okay, so let's run the emulator. Okay, so... Oh God. Oh, what have I done wrong? Okay, so that hasn't worked. The reason why that hasn't worked is because I forgot to wire the text view. So let's do it now. My text view equals text view you have to cast it find view by id r dot id dot my text uh, text view 
see this is the ID text v3 if we go to the XML file you see the text view will have text v3 as the ID so now that's wired now we are going to see what happens let's run that so when I click when I click on anything here it says it's been clicked so I mean that's part one but what we want to do is we want to know what we're clicking on so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this text field to display what the string which is in the list okay so what we need to do now is get the content of the item that was just clicked so what we need the important part here is the adaptive view and uh, we don't need to worry about that for now what we need here is the integer this is the position of where the click took place we don't need to worry about that either now so let's just say um adaptive view let's get this and then what we want to do is get the position so to do that we need to say get item at position and this variable here which is i okay so now that has got the position but the thing is it's not really passing back a string it's kind of passing back an object so what we need to do is we need to cast let's create a temporary string called my item selected okay and I'm going to say my item selected equals um, what this has passed back but the problem is what we want we need to do is we need to cast it to a string either cast it to a string or if we don't want to do that we could say to string at the end of this and it will make a string object um, whichever way you want to do it so for now let's just let's just cast it to the string okay and then now we've got my item selected as a string now we can put it in the text view like this so now let's let's run okay so now let me click on data 16 you see it changed to data 16 click on data 3 you see data 3 so it's actually getting the the item string within the list so that could potentially be anything it doesn't have to be string it could be an object it could be an array of objects it could be anything that you want it to be in that string don't forget um right now we're still dealing with basic lists i mean we can do much more complicated list than this but anyway that's it for now thank you very much for watching my video if you feel like you've learned something and you're happy with what you saw tell a friend subscribe like um i'm trying to build up my channel so thank you once more for watching and peace family peace peace peace